trying to show this crack. I'm trying to show my crack? Oh, wasted. Fuck, is it too loud? What are the lines doing here? Are they going to the red when I'm talking or? No, oh, they don't go to the red. Okay, perfect. No. I'm trying to vlog. This camera doesn't have a flip screen, so I have to oh, vlog I blindly because I have the other one there. Um, we're working, I'm, I'm thinking about vlogging this day. You should, yeah. Right? Like I think this would be good content to vlog here, super wide. I don't know if the angle is good. So Cash just showed up. We're going to shoot something. Well, he shows up with this G63 with a huge crack in the window. Crack. And the worst part is, it's not even the first time. This is the second time. And every time it's $3,000 to fix. Mercedes-Benz knows they have this problem. So they'll offer you a package for up to four replacements for 3,500. It's like, buddy, <laughs> why don't you just fix your goddamn windshield? Apparently the, the windshield on this car is so flat that every time a rock hits it, it doesn't reflect. It just goes right into Jesus it. So, Christ. How much is this car? The car is like over 200 grand. What right? It's G63, so yeah. uh, I need a stepping ladder to get <laughs> <laughs> let's go all right hold on let me yeah, yeah all right so let's talk about you tesla driver yeah sitting in a g-wagon what's this all about first of all this is much louder than i'm used to it's kind of nice to have a bit of yeah yeah beneath your your balls as i would say holy shit jesus is coming back soon this guy's saying so we're fucked bro jesus is back yeah put the material things away jesus doesn't like that that's it you know what? And this is what sucks because it feels good to be in a 200,000 plus car, but at the same time, it shouldn't make you feel this good because you'll always be chasing. I remember getting my first Mercedes. It was a little C-class Mercedes 300. I was so excited. Oh, I'm driving a Mercedes Benz now. It was so I was amped. It lasted about eight months, a year. Mm -hmm. Then I noticed everyone else in my office had better Mercedes Benzes. Then I was like, I need an E-Class. I went and switched to, to an E-Class. Then I got a G, G class. Then I got a, a CLS. And every time that happiness got shorter and shorter and shorter, and you realize you're just chasing, chasing that feeling, that hit. Yeah. You gotta get happy with experiences. Those ones last, they become memories. They don't run out. I thought this guy was funny and now it's all of a sudden a fucking lecture. With that Anybody? said, G-Wagon, G-Wagon, G-Wagon. Screw the G-Wagon for a second. Where are we going now? What are we doing? So here we are. Beautiful street of Arnold. Arnold is uh, is a gorgeous pocket right in front of Octagon. If you guys know Octagon's a, a beautiful uh, restaurant, steakhouse. I've been there like once. Very upscale, you know, you gotta be dressed up to go in there. Anyways, this neighborhood, is a reflection of that restaurant. Very upscale, you've got massive lots, 100 foot wide, uh, three car garage, two car garage, 7,000 square feet, 10,000 square feet. Overall, the brand new ones that are being built are like super over the top massive. Today we're checking out a $9 million house. It's been listed for 8,888,000. I wonder who they're trying to attract with that number. You know, I was gonna say, that's a very Asian influence. Oh, hi. So take me on I live in Thornhill. Jeff, you live Jeff, in Thornhill? Yes. But you're, you work Jeff, out of the baby Jeff, village office. Oh, yeah, but I have five kids, two dogs, a cat. Like, I need land. And Thornhill gives you land. City lights are shining so bright. All right, so here she is, Jess. Wow. Beautiful facade you've got a hundred front frontage here you've got heated driveway i know you like that perfect for people like me that hate shoveling the snow yes and we've got a nice grand entrance beautiful boxwood in the front i'm excited to see this place i heard there's some really key features here that some you beautiful won't features. see in yeah. a lot of homes so i'm excited 100 percent. let's turn off this loud car hey guys Hi. Hey. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> you just pulled up so fast. Um, okay, so should we do like an exit scene? Wait. Oh, I thank you, Cash. Yes. Thornhill's full of gentlemen, okay? <laughs> my man here with Sam he's uh he's dressed in all the colors today you got the red yellow it's, green it's spring I'm trying I love it bro yeah. this, is, uh, this is kind of my recommendation I want him to be more you know, creative. he wants me to look more like a clown <laughs> not like a clown creative you know it's great yeah 
We've got the G Wagon for this occasion. And oh, hello, somebody. hello, Hi. Balenciaga. So the idea is uh, to shoot some sort of a, a I don't know, we're, we're coming up with a new concept for real estate, but not just about the property, but make it more interactive. So today we're testing out a shoot uh, with Cash and Jess and uh, to kind of tour the house, but talk a little bit about the house, about the area, maybe add in a little bit of personal kind of stories, uh, preferences, and uh, just a test out a concept that we have that would probably look more like a reality TV show. But so today is one of one of our test shoots and uh, we found the property for it. So it's a proper, proper property for it. Miss Jess, how's it going? What are we doing here? Just hanging. No, I'm joking. We're doing, this Something is, this fun. is a Something vlog, fun. yeah, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we started vlogging on the way here just to get some behind the scenes as well. And then we'll shoot, I don't know, the, I think we only have two hours, right? Or something like that? Like we don't have the, the whole day. No, we don't. No. There, are, there, are people, there are people upstairs actually look, like looking at the house right now. So I think there's a showing happening, but uh, let's see what I can find. That's, so we went in from the main door, side door here. Garage. Hey, look at the gym there. I know wow. I'm not this stupid. Maybe just a little bit foolish. So yes, 100%. Crazy Jess. I can see myself running to watch. Cash? 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 I better know where he is. Cash? Where did you go, man? I was just talking to you, just disappeared. I'm getting jacked here. I feel like a Miami beach bod, dude. So this is terrible because I'm using 10, 10 pound weight <laughs> and I'm on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> no wonder it smells like a little, a little ass. <laughs> we didn't end up vlogging anything while we were shooting because we were shooting, so I it couldn't shoot cold. and shoot. Yeah, it was to tough. To we need. We almost need someone else to. to to be vlogging oh, wait, the behind the scenes. Sorry. Oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what do we, do you think it was a success? The first, guys, this is the first one. You've been talking about it. So this is like a It was a uh, It was successful because we got to know each other a bit more. Our chemistry is good. I think, I think we, you're funny. I admire you and your skills. So it's easy to work with someone, including you as well, Aww. who like their craft and are comfortable in front of the camera. I think we got a really good team and I'm excited to work with you. I think you balance out my energy and we're gonna get crazier and crazier on the next shoots for sure. Yes, sir. Stay yeah. tuned. Cool. Stay tuned. All right, so I think, I think it was a success. We couldn't vlog as much as I was saying when I was in the back because we were trying to do a tour. I'm exhausted too. Like I'm was, very exhausted It was tiring, too. it was yeah. tiring. And I think it was successful based, I mean, considering it was our first time mm -hmm. um, with this crew. You could tell the energy is different in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> G-Wagon, G-Wagon, G-Wagon. I'm also hungry as Me hell. Too. You remember when we got in the car, I told you I'm thirsty. True, yes. And that was it. And then I got there, he gave me a Perrier. Yes, I had half of did. it. I put it in the sink and then the lady cleaned it. Yeah, I think I think it was good. I would have loved to get some behind the scenes. This is what something I'm missing about my stuff too, like my behind the scenes. You know, yeah, man, you got, sure. my job is to make people look good, but nobody's. Uh, I need to hire somebody to just chase me around, <laughs> and take pictures. Yeah, I would have taken more videos of you, but you know, I'm the I subject. Know. Yes, I, I can't I, be. I get it. I get yeah. it. Yeah. All right, so um, I'm gonna go home, and I'm gonna go downstairs get but the wait, car. But wait, before we wrap it up, let me just give it a nice little. 